Hello, LP Brown artists. Welcome back. This week, our prize winners are Analia C. in Miss Christensen's class and Francis C. in Miss Walter's class. You will receive some special art prizes at the next supply pickup. This week in art, we are learning about a certain type of insect, the cicada. Now, we don't really have cicadas around here. They're in other parts of the United States. But this year, something really interesting is happening. So there are two types of cicadas. There's the annual cicada, that they're born every year. They're just normal insects. And then there's the periodical or 17 year cicada. And these cicadas live underground for 17 years. And then after 17 years, they all pop up out of the ground and fly around millions of them. So this year, 2021 is when those 17 year cicadas are coming out. They're called the brood 10 and You'll see, if you look closely, the difference between the annual cicada and the 17-year cicada. Notice its big red eyes. It has the shiny, transparent wings. And it is an insect, so it has six legs. I attached a video all about cicadas. Um, I'll add a couple more if you're interested. They're coming out as we speak, I'm pretty sure. People are spotting them in different parts of the country. So it's gonna get very loud in certain parts of the United States. So you have a few options today. I am gonna draw one of the 17 year cicadas today and do it pretty accurate to what it looks like in real life. You can draw, pause the video and draw what you see here. You can follow along with me in the video or you could draw a different insect. Maybe it's your favorite type of insect. So your assignment today, draw any type of insect. If you want, you can follow along with me as you draw a cicada. Okay, I'm starting with a piece of paper and a pencil. Your job is to draw lightly. I'm gonna draw a little dark so you're able to see. You can make this as simple or as tricky, accurate as you want. Um, I'm going to do step-by-step -step drawings. You also have the option to just look up pictures of cicadas or go back in the video and draw what you see. Do an observational drawing. All right. So cicadas are known for their big eyes. So I'm going to look at my paper and see Okay, my cicada is going to take up a good portion of the paper. I'm going to draw two small ovals for the eyes. One going vertical up and down. One going horizontal side to side. Next, I'm going to draw a little rainbow line here and then connect it to the eyes and then a little mouth here. For the pupils of the eyes, we can just draw a dot and a dot. So we have eyes, mouth. Next, connecting the eyes, I'm going to curve, start going down here, curve down and then up. For the head section, draw two lines parallel. That means they are two lines side by side. They're not crossing. Two parallel lines. One, two. That's the ridge on its neck. And I'll connect them with a curved line. Next, connecting this to the head with a curved line. And it has this little like 
oval shape here with a square rectangle shape here. Now we need to leave room for the extra long wings. It has a long skinny body. So starting here I'm going to curve up into a long oval. Ta-da! Now the cicada has its feelers, or you can pretend it's a mustache. Do do do. And then it has six legs because it's an insect. Insects have six legs. You can draw the legs just like one, two, three, four, five, six, just simple. Or you can draw them the way I'm doing it, where it's going to be three sections on each leg. One, two, three. And then little fingers. No, that's not the accurate word. Little pinchers there. And again, three sections. One, two, three. Okay, so we have two legs here. And then the other two will come out around the side. There's my cicada. So now it's time to add color. We're going to skip the wings for now. The wings are gonna be the last part that we add. You can do a realistic looking cicada or a magical rainbow cicada, whatever you want. I'm going to do a more realistic look. Here is my cicada without wings so far. You can see I layered some colors. I did black with a little yellow, black with a little blue, the red eyes, and blackish orange legs. The last thing we need to do is add wings. So if you have a pen, that would be great. Um, Sharpie, whatever you have available. So let's see what I have here. My Sharpies tend to dry out so fast probably because I use them so much. Okay, the wings are going to start at the tops of the eyes, kind of behind the eyes, and they're going to curve around and they're long skinny wings. So here we go. I'm just going for it with my Sharpie. I do not recommend doing this. I recommend using a pencil first, <laughs> but I'm feeling risky today. Okay. That did not turn out the best, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to add some wiggly lines to the wings. So, some lines there to show they're not just plain there's some texture to them. And then we can add some light color to the wings. They're not completely clear, but they're transparent. And there you have it, your cicada. And I'm gonna write cicada on it to label my picture. 
I hope you all had fun doing this project and hopefully learned something new. Make sure you share your cicada pictures on Schoology. And if you decided to draw a different insect, go ahead and share that insect too.